Hey there football fans! Welcome back to Football News Center. In today's video, we're taking a trip back in time to explore how West Germany won the Euro 1972 tournament with their total football style. Now, when we think of German football, we often associate it with a more defensive and pragmatic approach. But this West German team was different. They were a force to be reckoned with, playing an exciting and attacking style of football that left their opponents in awe. Let's start by talking about the manager of this incredible team, Helmut Schaan. Schaan had a fascinating backstory, starting his coaching career after fleeing from East Germany to the West. He was influenced by the legendary coach Jimmy Hogan and introduced a style of football known as total football, where every player had to be comfortable on the ball and regularly switched positions. In the quarterfinals, West Germany faced England and defeated them over two legs, with a memorable 3-1 victory at Wembley. This victory showcased the close resemblance between German and Dutch football, as Sean's philosophy mirrored that of Rhinus Michaels, the mastermind behind the famous Dutch total football. Now, let's talk about the key player of this West German team. It might surprise you, but it wasn't the legendary Franz Beckenbauer or the prolific Gerd Müller. It was Gunter Netzer, the number 10, who dictated the game and played brilliant balls into the attack. Netzer was calm and composed on the field, almost playing at a walking pace, reminiscent of players like Toni Kroos and Masud Ozil. His performances earned him the title of German Footballer of the Year. In the final against the Soviet Union, West Germany displayed their dominance. They controlled possession and territory, with Netzer and Beckenbauer orchestrating the game from midfield. Muller's speed and goal-scoring prowess were on full display as he scored two goals, while Herbert Wimmer, the understated water carrier, added another goal. The final score was a convincing 3-0 victory for West Germany. Now, let's talk about the defining moment of the tournament. It was the opening goal in the final, a scrappy affair that showcased the team's ability to get the job done. But if we rewind 15 seconds, we see a brilliant move that epitomized the style of football played by West Germany. Beckenbauer dribbled forward, played a ball to Muller, who chipped it up for Netzer's acrobatic volley that unfortunately hit the crossbar. This move perfectly encapsulates the team's ability to play wonderful football while also being efficient. This victory in the Euro 1972 tournament established West Germany as a formidable force in European football. It was their first participation in the European Championship finals, and they made it count. Their record in the tournament throughout the 20th century is nothing short of magnificent, with three championships, two runner-up finishes, and only one failure to advance past the group stage. So, were they clearly the best team? Absolutely. They were hailed as the best side in Europe, and their victory was not only a triumph for a superb team but also a victory for intelligent attacking football. West Germany's style of play captivated fans and left a lasting impact on the footballing world. That's it for today's video, folks. We hope you enjoyed this trip down memory lane to the Euro 1972 tournament and the incredible West German team that conquered it with their total football style. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more football news, and let us know in the comments which team you'd like us to cover next. Until next time, keep loving the beautiful game.